Hey, welcome everybody, Mr. On Demand, Man with the Master Plan, back again. And I mean, we're going to talk web browsers today. And let's face it, one of the really, you know, big things has been all, what Google's been doing with the Google Chrome browser. And it's really caused a lot of problems for people when it comes to blocking ads, which I believe is your first line of defense to protect yourself. You want to protect yourself. But when a browser doesn't give you the ability to do that, then you kind of need to have options. So um, I use a little bit of all of the browsers, but today we're going to talk about one in particular that I think is very, very interesting. And I'm continuing to test it out and do more with it, but it's got a lot of nice features that I really like. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this uh, browser right now. We're going to go ahead and jump in and I'm in the Google Chrome browser as we speak and we're going to download this. It's called Vivaldi uh, and I want to go over some of the features. I'm going to show you how to install it. So I'm downloading it. Uh, it says get ready to enjoy your, your Vivaldi browser, right? So if I click over here, it looks like it's done. Let's click on that. We're going to start the install. I'm having it just go to its default location. If you have another location you want to install to, that's, you know, depends on your computer and your setup. Let's go ahead and accept and install this. This is So this browser is going to give us some features, uh, and it's really big on security. It's got a built-in ad blocker, um, and the ad blocker is pretty good, but you can also install uBlock Origin if you like as well. Would you like to pin Vivaldi to your taskbar? I'm going to tell it yes for the heck of it. And pin it there right, right down here in the bottom, right? We've got the Vivaldi browser down here. So welcome to Vivaldi. So this is what you see when you first install it. Let's hit continue. Unlock the full potential of Vivaldi with an account. So it wants you to set up an account. I'm going to skip this. I really don't want to set up a Vivaldi account, but the D Vivaldi does have Vivaldi social. They've got like, they've got some other stuff going on and it's pretty cool. Now bring your favorites to Vivaldi. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to select Chrome. I'm going to import selected, uh, close the browser before importing. So what I need to do is I need to close Chrome. Okay, we're going to close that out and we're going to try again. Okay, so I had this happen to me before and even though I closed the browser and I'm trying again, it still wouldn't let me until I hit skip and continue. So um, you can import after and as well. So if you end up with a problem importing your stuff over, um, that can be an issue. Uh, I did have that be a little issue, so I wanted to be completely upfront about this. But do you want no blocking? Do you want to block trackers or block trackers and ads? So I did the block trackers and ads because this, you know, for this browser, I'm going to be running it uh, mostly when I'm doing things I want to block ads and trackers. I'll use the dark theme. You can use whatever theme you like. And then this is kind of cool. So it's got, you know, you can actually select on the top, the left side, the bottom, or the right side where you want your tabs. So like across the top here, this is where tabs normally go. But you can actually change that to where tabs are on the left or along the bottom or along the right. Depending on your preference, I'm going to just have them across the top because that's the way most of our browsers are. But one thing you're going to notice about this browser too is these other options across the side, right? You got your bookmarks, you got your download section. I kind of like this. A his history is right here. You can go ahead and take a look at your history, write your first note automatic detection uh, so you can use this for uh, you know your translation uh, of text so it's got some nice features in here uh, depending on what you want to do and if you go to Vivaldi social they've actually got this little thing here which is you know try it out see what you think um, they've got some other things here as well so you know depending on what you're into you can take a look at this stuff and try it out. Uh, I'm not going into all of that in detail. I have been trying a lot of this stuff out, so you can definitely try it out yourself, but this is just a basic quick video to get you started using the browser. One more thing, start browsing, and boom, 
we're all set. Now we're browsing. Um, now what you can do is you can actually go and uh, you can go to whatever website you want to go to. I mean, you can set up another tab. The cool thing about this is too, is you can go ahead and you can add what they say, what they call a speed dial and you can add all your favorite sites right here. So on my other computer, I added, you know, a whole bunch of, uh, of my main sites right here uh, for me to be able to, you know, go into uh, quickly and easily. That's right on the start page. And then you can set your uh, search to be whatever search you want. I kind of added multiple other searches like DuckDuckGo and Bing Search and everything all in here as well as having uh, the main search uh there also so i could pick and choose what search i want to use uh that's cool google has a similar feature but i found this to be a little better than what google has if you click the gear over here you're going to see that you can change a lot of settings on your browser so you can actually change the start page settings and once you change the start page settings you have all kinds of options here for appearance and theme and tabs and panel so you can change all that stuff in here bookmarks etc etc uh, so privacy and security uh, download so this is all up to you how you would like yours to be and one of the things i was going to tell you is you could simply search for U block and so you can go ahead and uh, uh, that's not good okay I don't want to go there um, that was a sponsored link that's why it's it's uh, giving me some blocking there Chrome Web Store this is what I want so here is uh, U block origin uh, from the Chrome Web Store and because this is based off the Chrome base now I'm not sure if when certain updates happen to this they'll go away from being able to support you block origin even if they do they've got their own blocker which i would hope that if they did stop supporting something like this they are, their their internal blocker would be working and block ads appropriately for you um that's why i'm continuing to test it out i'm not sitting here telling you hey this is the best browser in the world I'm just showing you options out there so you can give it a try for yourself. There's absolutely no reason that you can't have three or four different web browsers installed on your machine and try them all out. See which one ends up working better for you because the Google browser, while it there's certain things that I like to use the Google browser for, mainly for compatibility with certain things, uh, there are, there's a lot of things that I'd like to use something else that's got a little more security and a little more ad blocking in it, uh, to be able to help me. Um, so, and it's warning you here, but that's because we're it, you know, we're in the Chrome web store and, uh, it says the extension may no longer be supported, uh, because it doesn't follow best practices. So, but we're not running Chrome. This isn't Chrome. This is a different browser. So, uh, you know, there's lots of browsers that run off what's called Chromium and they still support the ad blocking and the ad blockers that are out there. Whether or not they don't in the future, we never know because, I mean, constantly updates happen, things change in the computer world and you have to adapt with that or else you get left behind. You can't just get something and expect that to be the thing that you're going to use forever when it comes to technology. Technology is constantly changing all the time. So new stuff is always happening. This is why you're over here on this channel to learn about these new things. But you're gonna notice up here in the top right corner, we've got the uBlock uh, built, uh, is running. And now the uBlock uh, you know, will start blocking ads for this web browser. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's a very functional, very nice running web browser. Uh, so just to give you a quick overview of it, uh, to let you to let you see what it is, you are able you're able to see that now and go ahead and decide if if it's something you want to try out or use. Whatever you decide is, is it's really up to you. Your it's your computer and your uh, equipment at the end of the day. Um, this is Mr. On Demand, and I'll see you in the next video. You guys have a great one. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know down below what I could have done better if there was something that you didn't like that I did. And I'll try to do better in the future for the future videos for you. You guys, see you later. Have a, have a good one.